hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we would talk about MRP live we would also go inside the SAP system and run an MRP live transaction so what is MRP live there are a lot of benefits from MRP live from improved performance and execution of planning run in much frequent cycles this means that we can execute daily providing the MRP controller with the following benefits so if you talk about the benefits, so it is based on more accurate supply and demand information. So we can have a faster reaction to demand changes, which reduces the risk of stockouts, which means that we can reduce safety stocks or buffer stocks. We can match demand and supply more efficiently. And also we can identify and react to issues faster than the classical MRP. So when I talk about classical MRP, I have made a video on this, which I will link on the top right corner so you can click on that uh, link and go to the video and watch it so the video is the difference between MRP live and classical MRP which you can watch now we want to talk about the constraints as well so not all materials and MRP types can be executed via MRP live so the materials which have the type VB that is order point planning cannot be planned via MRP Live. So this is a constraint which you can remember. So now let's go into the SAP screen and understand how we actually run the MRP Live and complete the process. Now the next step is to create a planning run so that the requirement will be generated. So via MRP I will create a purchase requisition. So for that I have I will go to the MRP live transaction. So that is slash NMD 01N. So I go to this transaction. So I give the material and the plant here. And uh, here the planning mode. So the planning mode is important here. The planning mode normally should be uh, you can delete it and recreate it. So I would do a delete and recreate. So this option will delete the previous records from MD04 transaction and create fresh proposals. So I will do a delete and recreate here. And uh, if I go to the scheduling tab, it should be determined basic dates for planned order. So the scheduling field would have will have one. It's fine here. And I give the plant and the material and I run it. So once the MRP is running, so we'll get a message that it is running. And once it is finished, uh, I will see a log uh, which generates here. So this is the log that will generate. So from this screen itself, I can go to the stock requirement list. So I select this line and I go to stock requirements list. So this is the MD04 screen. So I go to this screen wherein um, I can have the stock details. The material type is here the MRP area and the material everything is here so I select this line I go to stock requirements list so once I do that I can check that here the proposals are generated so these are the purchase requisitions that are generated so for the first 11 quantity I have this purchase requisition which is automatically generated for month 5th and for month 6th this is the purchase requisition so if I open this purchase requisition I can I can double click here and I can see some more details that these are the dates this is the purchase requisition if I click on here if I go to display it will take me to the purchase requisition screen uh, this was my material and uh, I have all the details so 11 quantity it has been generated okay okay so if I go back I can open the next uh, quantity so this is for the sixth month I um, select here and I can display it I can double click on it and I can click on it here and I go to display so this will show me the next proposal which I had made for 15 quantity so here I have 15 quantity so the purchase requisition has been automatically generated for the independent requirements which we had created manually and from this uh, purchase requisition we can create purchase order and do the p2p cycle so for both these two purchase requisitions we can do the p2p cycle so that is all in today's video in the next video we would be starting the p2p cycle and we would start with the purchase requisition 
so we would try to create a manual purchase acquisition we will see how to create a purchase acquisition manually in the sap system so till we meet again next time you all take care goodbye